Hello, everybody. It is Polka Tuesday. We're back, and it's polka time. So let's get those hands a clapping. <laughs> Here we go. Because it's polka party time. <laughs> A party. <laughs> Bring out the beer and the wine. We'll all get together and all have a real good time. Oh, let's dance the polka, twirling around the floor. We'll all clap our hands and we'll shout for more. Do it. My center. Each hey, week you'll see your favorite band. My center. From all across the land. We're gonna have yeah. a polka party yeah. with yeah. Molly B. And right here today me. with you and me. Well, welcome all. We are so glad that all of you are listening tonight. Let me tell you who's all listening. We got folks here from Virginia, Kansas, Louisiana, Idaho, Arizona, Indiana, Kentucky, Alaska, North Dakota, Utah, Ohio, Virginia, Illinois. We got, got Canadians on tonight. We, yes, we Canadians. do. <laughs> Hello to our friends from Iowa, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Tennessee, uh, Maine, New York, Pennsylvania, Texas, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and California. Did I miss anyone? I think our friends are new from the Netherlands are watching tonight as oh. well. Hello. All right, Ted, let's get it going. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? All right. Let's all play hide and seek. Hello, Arkin. Oh, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? All right. Let's all play hide and seek. Yiddish, mayo, pastilli, prahu. Slums as feet yellow. Yiddish, mayo, pastilli, prahu. Slums as feet yellow. Especially for Mike. A mess met up a yally, a dutch is messing yally, a mess met up a yally, a dutch is messing yally. Kiddish, may up a steely prahu, Sloan says beat yellow. Hello to our friends listening from South Dakota. Steely shiner, Sloan says beat yellow. Leash may up a steely shiner, Sloan says beat yellow. A mess me up a yelly, a dubious mess in yelly, a mess me up a yelly, a dubious mess in yelly. Leash may up a steely shiner. Slum says beat yellow. I request Ted's playing the Christmas toy polka. So we had a 
request for this next song. We're going to feature Molly on the button accordion over here. It's one called Out the Window Polka. Polka. I saw somebody request an old time tune. It's one called You're My Honey Polka. So we'll do that for you right now. I'm going to speed up Al. We're going to feature Molly on the button box again. This one called The Last Night Polka. Last night I looked at you and I saw stars. Last night 
You held my hand and stole my heart, but that was last night. It won't be tonight. The time we spent was only in my dreams. Last night, you said you'd always love me. But last night, you said together we would be. But that was last night. It won't be tonight. Cause the words you spoke were only in my dreams. To the morning light But last night We kissed and held each other time But that was last night We won't be tonight The love we shared was only in my dreams Last night You asked if I would marry you Oh, last night We walked the island, said I do But that was last night You won't be tonight Cause the diamond ring was only in my dreams
fat for me. She's too fat for me. Much too fat for me. Oh, I don't want her. You can take her. She's too fat for me. She's too fat. Much too fat. She's too fat for me. She's a twosome. She's a foursome. If she'd lose if some, she lose some, I would like her more. So I don't want her. You can have her. She's too fat for me. She's too fat for me. Much too fat for me. Oh, I don't want her. You can take her. She's too fat for me. She's too fat. Much too fat. She's too fat for me. Pennsylvania Volca Pick out your partner and join in the fun The Pennsylvania Volca It started in Scranton, it's now number one It's bound to entertain ya Everybody has a mania To do the Volca from Pennsylvania Das ist die Lichtenscheine, Polka mein Schatz, Polka mein Schatz, Polka mein Schatz, oh ja. Bleib doch kein Lichtensteiner auf seinem Platz, auf seinem Platz, mein Schatz. Hi Jackson, man kann beim Schieben, 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 sich in meine Augen sehen. Da muss ich lieben, lieben, lieben und die Liebe dir schön, oh ja. Bleib doch kein Lichtensteiner, Polka. Shots. Here's one more for you. Medley Good. time to get you going. The first 22 minutes here on Polka Tuesday, 22 yes, on Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. So, Pam Reed, I'm sure you're slightly disappointed because I didn't play my saxophone. Mm. I'm not going to play my saxophone Sorry. tonight, and I'm not going to play my trumpet tonight, but I have my other instruments that I'm going to play. So, and I'm moving a little, a little slower tonight. In case um, you're wondering, 
We missed- Molly, by surprise, had her appendix taken out. It wasn't like she woke up one morning and was like, whoa, where's that? Uh, she actually... <laughs> actually, uh, I did wake up and I go, whoa, where is whoa, that? Where, <laughs> yeah, well, you did, it wasn't in the morning, though. Uh, but anyway, so Molly had her appendix out last week. And uh, because of that, she's on doctor's orders to only cook and bring me uh, drinks. What? Uh, that's but no not heavy true. lifting. So no heavy lifting, and uh, so that's yes. why we're taking it lightly, and that's why I'm moving slower too. So not quite as bouncy as usual. Not quite as bouncy. So huh. anyway, so that's that's what happened last week. That's why we couldn't do our show, but we are here tonight, and we got the wonderful Ted doing everything he Ooh. normally does. And better. <laughs> and better. Oh, don't raise the bar like that. That's not any good. Mm. You know, then they're going to have expectations, and uh. that could be dangerous. So anyways, uh. Uh, I didn't know that we were going to be able to do this uh, this week, actually. I really no. was not anticipating that we'd be doing this yeah. this week. He said, yeah, Ted even said, we won't be doing it. I thought, no, no I want to come I'm back. I'm going to make Ted do it. <laughs> don't make <laughs> don't me laugh. laugh. Yes. Uh, I usually don't laugh at anything I say, I so... Yes. Okay. So I announced on Facebook and I announced on our email blast. If you don't get our email blast, you should go to mollyb.com and click um, join email list. It's that easy. And then you can get our emails. We send out about once a week. So I said, if everything goes well, that we are going to have a guest this week on our show. So drum roll, please. What in the world? Dana is our drummer for Squeeze Box. He drums about uh, 70 to 80% of our gigs, so therefore, he's our drummer and uh, lives up in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and we're so glad that Dana's with us tonight. How are you, Dana? I'm doing fantastic. How are you That's all doing? W- wonderful, wonderful. Super. Great. And uh, we'll be asking you some questions. Great. Yeah, but before we do, I've got a special surprise for you. <laughs> You do, Ted. I, I do. So hang on what here a second. What is that surprise? Let me punch some buttons and see if I can get this okay. thing to work again. He's going to punch right. some buttons. Don't punch too hard. Just right. tap that thing. Is that really who I think it is? Joe Pooper. Joe Pooper. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we've got we Joe there you. from Toronto, Yay. Canada with his beautiful wife. Yay. And Dana Hi, is Thanks. all the way up Hello. in Minnesota. Oh, we are so glad you are with us. Ted, that was an awesome surprise. I said we would have one guest, and now we have three. Three, yes. I love it. I love it. (laughs) Always Uh, under-promise and over-deliver. Yes. Right? Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So for those that don't know, Joe joined our band. Now I got to think about this, Ted. Three, Three years ago. Three years ago this October. I'm sorry you weren't prepared for right. this. Yeah, 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 that is about right. I kind of forget because I literally have not seen yeah. you, Joe. So it's great to have you with us. So what we want to do at this time, we want to um, get all of you to get to know our band members a little better tonight. Um, so we're going to ask them a few questions that we think that you're going to find interesting. Okay, so Dana, when okay. did you start playing a musical instrument? Uh... I'm going to say I was about nine or 10. Uh, I actually started playing the alto saxophone. Uh, and then when I was about 12, I had some interest in playing drums. Um, and then actually uh, by the, so I actually played drums and saxophone. And by the time I got into high school, At the same time? I was playing. Yeah. I'm like Molly B. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah. Except she's a little better looking. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. So by the time I got to, uh, to high school, I was actually playing saxophone in concert band. I was playing drums in marching band. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a couple years since I I've been guess playing. Because so. you're not like 13? Uh, 16. You got now. that baby yeah. face. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and Dana, you play the alto sax? I had no idea. I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did. He tried being a musician, never... and he ended up just being a drummer. <laughs> oh, Ted. But I'm a Oh, jeez. Where's that mute button for Ted? I know. I know. All right, Joe, Joe can you Popper. answer that question for us? When did you start playing an instrument? You know what? I was nine years old, and what instrument it was? The accordion. <gasps> Two years. Ooh, the accordion. Another one. Yeah, I'm telling you. I said to my parents, 
Mom and Dad, I want to play the accordion. It's the hottest instrument going. I want to learn it. So sure enough, next week they had a guy down there teaching me how to play accordion. Took it for two oh, years. That's... And then all of a sudden the Beatles came out. And I switched instruments to the guitar. Oh, oh. <laughs> We know Aww. that your first band was not Squeezebox. So what was your first band and what did you play with that band? Yeah, I, I don't even remember the name of the band. I remember I was 14. Um, I was playing, it was, a, it was just a three piece. It was like an accordion and a bass, very similar to uh, Ted's rig and a saxophone player. And um, I remember my parents had to drive me to the gigs because <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> um, gosh, I, I, I really don't even remember the, the name of the group. And I remember many times the clubs, you know, the VFWs and so forth didn't want to let me in. Um, you know, they're even more strict these days with, with the age limit of being over 21. But by then, you know, it was, yeah. it was very difficult. Um, but I, I played with all types of groups, all type of styles of polkas. I would say my very first kind of getting in playing live gigs kind of outside in bigger venues uh with probably with the button box group it was the penn ohio button box club out in um western pennsylvania uh eastern ohio because i'm actually originally from newcastle pennsylvania if you didn't know that uh which is just north of pittsburgh a little bit so uh, i played uh, grew up on slovenia music um then as i got into my teens i, I you know i found a love for for polish music um, and then, of course, coming to the Midwest, you just got to love uh, the German and Oompa, Oompa sound. I, I like it all. Yeah. I like it. I like it. How about you, Joe? What can I you like share with us sound. about? <laughs> what can you share with about us about your beginnings? Well, I was 14. Now, my first band was a rock and roll band. <gasps> Hello. And we played at a church basement. And lo and behold, it was a packed house. And that was the first band that I played in. And I thought I was in heaven. Aww, but then I joined so cool. Squeezebox. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> you know what? I really miss um, you guys in the band but and, and all of the people, the fans, you know, mm. like sitting mm -hmm. here yeah. in this quarantine kind of situation. I, I really miss the whole scene, the polkas, all the fans and you guys, you know, that, oh, that yeah. that's what it's all about. You know? It really is. It really is. I find yeah. as musicians, we start because of the love of the music. And then yep. the reason we play just kind of changes and evolves um, throughout our career. And some of us go stronger in one way is like, I just, I personally love to see smiles on faces. Like I love oh, it. That's love what it's it, about there. It, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, see? um, I actually saw somebody uh, somebody posted a question earlier. They they wanted to know when was the last time that all four of us played together. It would have been in Texas on February second. Yes, yeah, Texas with Dana. That would be so. We were in San Antonio, Texas, playing at Martinez Social Club. That was the last time us four actually played together. Um, yeah. Super Bowl Fox, Sunday. That's yeah, Super right. Bowl Sunday, February second, mm -hmm. um, and. Since then, Squeezebox has played a few more gigs. Um, Squeezebox played, I think, eight more in Arizona and California, which Joe played, and that went through February 16th. Yep. And then uh, we took a lot of time off, and we had one performance as Squeezebox on July 16th, in which Dana played, and um, Joe's our Canadian guitar player, so we had an Woo! American guitar player, like, player, Caleb, who's actually listening tonight, um, filled in for, for him for that gig. Hi, so, Caleb. Yes, and he, Caleb, Caleb did a great job. Someone yes, said he did. he did some good job with Joe-isms up there, so I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. side of life There's a bright and a sunny side too Though we meet with the darkness and strife 
Wishing hopes that we cherish so dear Clouds and storms in the time pass away The sun will gain and shine bright and clear Oh, keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day It will brighten all the way If we keep on the sunny side of life Let the green dance song and hope each day Polka Temple for you right now. We had a request for this one. It's a Polish song. It's one called the Chocolate Soda Polka. Pod Krakowa, Jedzi Fura, Anna Fuzie, Pali Gura, Yo, I Popie, Chai Chai. Chocolate, charna cover, you pop your chine chine, check a lot of pop your chine chine, check a lot of charna cover, you pop your chine chine, check a lot of oi shit suman, simple so star, simple oi su, buy em do star, yo, you pop your chine chine. Chocolate, charna cover, hip hop beer, chai chai, chocolate, hip hop beer, chai chai, chocolate, charna cover, hip hop beer, chai chai, chocolate. And we have a request for this one. It's off our most recent recording. It's one called El Rio Drive Puga. Send this song out to Ruth. And also, I believe, to Harper. And to Marsha. Good friends, Doc and Dorothy. Here's one called the Mozart's Poka. another polka that we've got here on the list but I gotta find the lyrics so just bear with me for a second while Molly plays her train over there here we go ashes of love cold as ice you made the bet I paid the 
price Our love is gone There's no doubt Ashes on love The flames burn out The love light that shines in your eyes Has gone out To my surprise We said goodbye And my heart bled I can't survive Your love is dead Ashes of love Cold as ice You made the bet I paid the price Our love is gone There's no doubt Ashes of love The flames burn out So here's an old Mary Lush song. I don't know if I remember enough of the words, but I'll try it because we had a request for it. Well, good luck, Ted. I'm cheering you on. Go, Ted. <laughs> There you go. That was the Young Years polka. Young Years. I got, yeah, when about, you sang it when you were in your... I might have remembered the words then. All right, so let's do another one that we've got here on the list. All right. And I've got a... Um, you know, I'm actually going to pick up the temple on... Um, Al East is over here. All right. You're gonna clue me in here? It's gonna, it's gonna be a surprise. Oh, I just think we're keep it interesting. Inside. How do you like those chords, everybody? By the way, if you're watching there on Facebook, now would be a great time to give us a share. So you share the feed with all your friends out there. trouble locating these lyrics right now. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, yes. By request. I believe Mike requested this one as well. Mama's got a squeeze box she wears on her chest. And when daddy gets home, he never gets no rest. Cause she's playing all night. And the music's all right. Mama's got a squeeze box day. Kids don't eat and the dog can't sleep. No escape from music in the whole darn street. Cause she's playing all night. And the music's alright. Mama's got a squeeze box, Danny never sleeps at night. She goes in and out and in. German 
song. Medley for you. Uh, yes. Got the Tweety yes. Bird working there. I know. I know. 
like pot. I got that, I think, in Portugal is where I picked up the bird. Yes, and my instrument I got early. the bird a bunch of other times. It wasn't in Portugal. Just this saying. One? This one actually came from Shanghai, China. I'm playing instruments around the world tonight. That's where our drum roll came from. Yep. What oh, else yes. do you have here? Oh, I've got lots of stuff. Okay, well, let's, let's well see since what you, you got. said, since you said there was stuff, I actually have a tin whistle. Mark Stone. It doesn't look like tin. I know it's beautiful. It's kind of heavy for a tin whistle. Mark Stone is the one is the reason I had this beautiful tin whistle. And we received a request a long time ago for Molly Malone, also known as Cockles and Muscles. It's an Irish tune, and we never got to it. Uh, until now, for, until now, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna do cockles and mussels. It's about a lady that is selling. It's an interesting name for a song. Yeah, she's a fishmonger. She's a fishmonger. Yep. What is a fishmonger, Molly? She sells fish in the streets. Is her name Susie? Does she sell no, seashells it's Molly by the seashore? Malone, oh, honey, Molly. remember? All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. You All right. It? Uh, no, I don't remember it, so I'm just gonna follow you. Well, then you can play that, and I'll still try to uh, follow along here. I'm How's the tempo? Um, it's at 210 waltz. 210 waltz. 210 waltz. Okay, so Ted's going to get this worked up. Um, so, a little history. I student taught in Ireland, and I got to be a part of jam sessions when I was there and learn a little bit more about their... That's the speed I want. A lot of symbol going on for uh, Ireland, but up. okay, all right. So we have symbols. A long Ireland? time ago, we got this request, and then um, Thomas Faulkner wanted this. So for him and Sherry, here is your Irish waltz. You didn't say it couldn't be a fast waltz, so it's going to be a fast waltz. Cockles and mussels. Yeah, each one So here we go. Cockles and mussels. City where the girls are so pretty I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone As she pushed her wheelbarrow Through streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and mussels Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh Crying cockles and mussels Alive, alive, oh She was a fishmonger But it was no wonder So her father and mother Were before her fishmongers too They threw these wheel narrow the streets broad and narrow Cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh. She did a try this again. She died of a fever and no one could see her and that was the end of sweet molly malone her ghost wheelbarrow to streets broad and narrow crying cockles and mussels alive alive oh alive alive oh alive alive oh crying cockles and mussels alive alive oh There you go. Cockles and mussels. All right. It is birthday time. We've birthday got, time. Yes. We've got lots of people Ooh. celebrating birthdays out there. Let, you got the list, Ted? There's our list of I birthday do. celebrators. Now, there's four people did not make that, and I'm going to say them right now. Ed, um, I'm going to say your name. I think Polish. I'd say. Ed Vinetsky. Exactly. Or Vianetsky. Vianetsky is what I was going to say. From Vianetsky. Upper Colorado, Maryland. Upper Cove, Mi Maryland, he said. Is oh, that Upper Cove? He oh, maybe that's what he that said. Could be. Well, happy, anyways, happy birthday, Ed. We should have discussed that earlier. Yeah. We already mentioned our friend John Gura is up celebrating. Steve Linehan. He is our <laughs> side man when we go on the road. Him and his wife travel with us. Also, Diane Hines, who runs 
buses to the Molly B Christmas special, which unfortunately this year has been canceled. And she is the wife of Jeff Hines, Wisconsin Polka King. So those four, along with everyone you see, so it is time to sing happy birthday to all of them. You're going to sing by yourself, all right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ed, John, Steve, Diane, Joanne, Andrew, Lori, Art, uh, Gil, Gil, sorry, Ruth, Harper, Perry, Bev, Barbara, Christina, Don, Robin, Austin, Joe, Janice, Lou, David, Norma, and Nicholas. Happy birthday to That was fun. I know. You know what? Did I? Becca's not on there. I missed Did Becca miss? on my list. No Becca way. Becca Lichty. She's the one doing the hair swing. That's our friend Becca. She turned 20 today. Yeah, there she is. Beautiful picture from yeah. a band called Girl Name Tom. Tom. Yep, that'd be her. I want to make sure you check them out Thursday nights. They do a live stream. Yes. All, All right. right. Okay, so... I know people are wanting to hear from our guest again tonight. So let's bring on, once again, if you just joined us, we are bringing on Dana Lindblad, the drummer for Squeezebox. We also have Joe Popper, the guitar player for Squeezebox, going to be joining us very shortly. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. And um, if you have a question at this time, feel free to put it up. We'll do our best to watch the screen and um, get those up there as Ted is bringing them on. Oh, there they are. Um, I want to let you know. So someone asked when how we all kind of came together. And um, so Ted and I met in 19... Oh, no. I, I think they, they went for cocktails while oh, we were uh, is that, playing. Is that what happened? <laughs> Joe's got a Come on, we're just serious. <laughs> Sorry. Right, you're kind of... Chopping off. Oh, you fixed that already. Okay, so um, to answer the question, how we all kind of got together, Ted and I met in, actually, Ted knew Dana from about 1995-ish is when he met him, 96-ish, yep. somewhere in that. I met Dana, the drummer, in 1998. Um, and then Dana and I w were at a festival at the same time, and I was influenced to go by Dana, and that's when I met. Cost? I'm a, such a bad influence. <laughs> That's when I met Ted. Okay, so then Ted and I joined forces, I like to say, in 2005. Yes, check out those muscles. I can't do it today. Yeah, don't do that. You'll pull something. That's going to hurt. Yeah, don't, yes. Okay, yeah, so don't do thanks, that. Dana. So that was 2005, and then Dana, I believe, is 2009 was your first gig with us? Yes, that's correct. Okay, Same so 2009. Same place where you met Ted. Yes, Milwaukee Polish Fest. And then mm -hmm. um, Ted knew... Joe, because Joe played with John Gouda as well as That's right. Teresa's brothers are full-time members of John Gouda and Gorale uh, as well. So yes, this yes. happy little circle is, is, can you see how it's kind of growing here? And um, so then it, the next time we got, I, I got to work with Joe, uh, I believe, was for the Christmas show, the 2016 Molly B. Christmas show. Oh, I, I thought it was worth but Maybe no, it was right. Worst Fest. Was you're worst right. Fest, it yeah. was Worst Fest. We needed a fourth that player for worst. worst Fest, so Joe came along. And then it was kind of like, uh, duh, why are we not going four-piece all the time? Because right. we have such an amazing so animated happy. character. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! We love having you with us. We really do. Thank okay, you, so, Molly. Thank you, All right, Jim. so a yeah. couple, couple questions for you guys. Uh, Dana first. What have been some of the blessings during this downtime? Mm, you know, it, it's things could always be worse, right? You know, uh, yes. we've all been frustrated at, at, at certain times, whether it's, you know, whether you got the news on, which I don't turn on anymore, uh, whether it's you're reading something, um, it could always be worse. And I, I think I, I really enjoyed the time home just to have a life. And I, and I, I mean that with, with a grain of salt <laughs> because I love, I love being on the road. I really do. And um, I, I, there's things that I really wanted to do this summer that we couldn't because mm -hmm. we can't, um, yeah. but I can't because whether it, things just aren't normal or I'm not comfortable going, you know, in my area, you know, mm -hmm. has been hit pretty hard, unfortunately by, by COVID-19. So I've just chosen to kind of do my own little thing and hang out with family. 
uh, for the most part. Um, but so I, I, I just look at the bright thing. I, I enjoy just being outside. I got a heck of a tan. Do you want to see it? <laughs> nope. Okay. There's no tan <laughs> lines. <laughs> So no, Joe, I spent a lot of time you? outside. Joe, Joe, and Teresa. Yeah, Joe and Teresa. One. Since well, since Teresa, you know, usually a lot of people don't realize this, but when Joe has been performing with us, he will stay on the road with us for sometimes five or six weeks at a time, and so now it's kind of reversed. He's at home yeah. all the time. Yeah, and I'm sure that <laughs> Teresa. Well, I'm sure she missed you while you were gone. I, you know, when you get into a routine, certain things no, become just kind of normal. Yeah, now she wants to go out, out and play. <laughs> So Joe and Teresa both, what, what are, uh, you know, what's some of the uh, blessings that this downtime is, has given you guys? Well, for me, uh, as Dana was saying, uh, just uh, kind of reuniting and spending uh, consistent time with the family. Uh, we got a couple of kids and uh, with Teresa, you know, uh, my landscaping has never looked better this year. Ooh, uh, I bet. But you know what? It, uh, really family time. That that that's what it's been all about with uh, this time off for us. How about you, dear? Yeah. I, oh, I agree. And I haven't had to cut the grass, which is great. I oh, since I've been home. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so it's been good. Good, good. So Dana touched on, it and he said, you know, it's been nice being home because I have like a real life. Um, and this is something that we actually all can answer. Like, what crazes you to want to 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 be on the road like like you are, to be away from home. So what is it that allows you to do this, to do the road life that we normally do? I, I love to perform, quite frankly. I, I love being on stage. Um, you know, as, as a little kid, I have never told this story before to you guys. Even before I was playing an instrument, I was probably seven, eight years old, and I would get together with my neighbor friends, and we would have make-believe instruments i had buckets and we played graduation parties in the neighborhood and we were <laughs> we buckets. were we were we were a band but we weren't a band you know we put on yes. we put on a we put on a cassette tape back then and we played along and i i want to i want to be like that i i, I love mm. making people happy and we've met so many great people along the way and, and quite frankly the, the people is what really drives me and that's what's what i miss most okay. and for me you, being Joe? on the road you know, mm -hmm. uh, when I joined Squeezebox and Molly, it was like, uh, I, I'm retired. So I said, I've got an opportunity to not only play the music that I love, but see, travel the United States. And I'm telling you, I've seen more of the United States than Canada. And I love it. I've, I, and the people just, uh, so what I've gotten to do is like be in a motor coach traveling during my retirement and playing music. I just, it couldn't be any better. So for me, it's been just awesome, an awesome experience. Great. So uh, one final thing uh, to have you guys both answer uh, before we go. Uh, do you have a funny uh, story that you can share, uh, a short story or a funny instance that you can share with funny, us? Funny, and if you can't think of funny, just sing something that's really memorable that has happened on the road. Does it have to be clean? <laughs> yes, we had I'm children kidding, of watching. Go for it, Dana. I'm Go kidding. For I'm it. kidding. I, actually, you know, some of you may have heard this story before, but I, I just laugh and laugh and laugh to myself. But, you know, every time, every year we play uh, New Braunfels, um, you know, we get done playing at 12, 1 o'clock and nothing's open except Taco Bell and Whataburger, right? And, yep. and, and in our case, you know, Taco Bell only is drive through. So, uh, even before we had the coach, we had the big sprinter van and he can't make it through the drive through even in that thing. So I remember we still had all of our later hosing on and Ted's out there flagging somebody down. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'll take care of this. I'll get us some food. And he jumps in someone's car. <laughs> he just jumps in somebody's I car said, and says, I'll buy you tacos. With you. <laughs> I just, it, that is so funny. It was a classic moment. That's yeah. We still do it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was funny. It was a funny moment. Thanks for sharing that, Dana. How about you, Joe? Oh, uh, you know, there's there's so many, but um, as far as a memorable, it's got to be uh, us doing that um, that mule, the mule movie, oh, the filming, yeah. and actually being with Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. and eating with him, dining with him, and spending time with him. It was, uh, that was an awesome experience, something out of the ordinary of what we were doing. And then uh, 
as, as far as funny, it's not one thing. It's every time I get on stage with, well, with you guys, but mainly Molly and Ted, because you don't know what the heck is going to happen next. It's, it's almost like you have to be ready to take off this way, take off that way. And uh, I, I laugh at myself every time you'll change a key, you'll do a, a song. What song is this? Where is he going with this? What, Mo what Molly's doing? That, that to me was, I'm always, you know, in awe and uh, in laughter about us playing. That's what it was all about for me. <laughs> well, let me just say right away, that is kudos to you, Joe, because you just told everyone how much we jump around musically on stage and you follow yeah. us. You're very good. <laughs> you know, You're we were just good. talking the other day about uh, a story, speaking of New Braunfels, we were in the hotel and we yeah. were, do you remember you, you had found a, a news article about a guy who played accordion and his neighbor uh, made fun of him because he played accordion and he ended up chopping up his neighbor. Do you remember that story? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All I remember is we laughed for probably a half hour straight. And just oh, it was more than that. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I well, remember. oh, good times. Well, again, thank you guys for joining us again this evening. Thank you for having it's us. It's great to see you again. It's been too long. Hopefully it won't oh. be too much longer before we get to see each other again. Oh, uh, but the thank better. you so much. Yeah. Uh, Dana, Thanks, I don't know if you can see uh, Chris Biggie's <laughs> question for you. This was her question. This is one I'm before we go. She wants to know how you spell Bob backwards. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> you have to answer that. Oh, B. I got it. B-O-B. -B. Got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank all you. All right, guys. Have a great Bye, night. We'll fans. see you soon. Yeah, thank you. you. We love you. Yes. Love yes. you guys. Take care. Yes. Love you. Thank you. Well, we felt, we hope you guys are enjoying enjoying the show tonight. Something a little different um, gives me a little bit of a break too. It's a it's it's yeah, probably the most said. trying time for my body for a long, long time. So I appreciate you your patience with that. And hey, there's nothing better than bringing hearing what they have to say and sharing stuff. So we really hope you enjoyed that. We actually also enjoy hearing your feedback like through emails or Facebook messages because um, we want to allow this show to grow. Our next performance right now is not till October 2nd, and we have everything canceled but 10 performances at this time. Um, so for all those who are watching Tuesday nights, yay, Tuesday nights get, you know, get to keep going. Um, so your feedback really is important to us. All right, so we're going to do something. I'm holding this in my hand. Okay. And this is something I picked up on the Charles Bridge in, in um, Prague. And that's in Czech Republic. I zoomed in there. I'm uh, zooming in so they can see. Ooh, lower, can you lower. see it? Lower, 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 lower. lower, lower. Right, right there. Okay. There's a hole in the back, too. Okay. All right. Um, and it actually makes noise. So I Noise or music? Oh, noise. <laughs> but I'm going to make it. And I'm trying to make it sound like music. Okay. So I couldn't find the instruction book. So earlier today, I'm like, well, I'm going to try to play this tonight. And um, just wish me luck. Yeah. I'm really going to try to play this. I'm dead serious. Am I playing with You're you? You're playing, or? too. Yes. Oh. Okay, so are we, we are going to play. I had a request um, from the Busta family. They're up on they're up on vacation without me, and they requested Happy Wanderer, which makes me say, uh, "You weren't watching the beginning of the show." Huh? <laughs> we're on to you guys. <laughs> um, but my dad likes the Lapland polka, so we're going to play that for them tonight. Yes. Well, here we go. All right. So, see if I get this right. Better yet, let's see if I get it right. No, you look fine. So we're. Wish me first time. Oops, we're in, in F. F. Hang on. I got it out. Let's see here. I don't know what it's called. Someone asked me. I don't know what it's called. Oh, is, is it a whale bone? No. No, it's not a whale bone. No I don't clue. know. We don't know. But it's, hopefully it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Regular tempo. polka tempo. Yeah. Here we go. Two, three, four. <laughs> Watch for 
Ocarina. Ocarina. Okay, sure. I need to find these things out. I should research more. Molly. Thank you. We're going to do another polka for you right now. And we're going to do this especially for Nicholas. That's right. We got a picture of Nicholas here Nicholas, with isn't the he one cute? and only Molly B. Oh, oh, he's four years old and he likes this song. Okay, Nicholas, are you ready? This is I Guess Song. And I want you to do your, put your arm in the air and sing along with us. I Guess Song. Sleechki Song. Pokers for you. All right, we're going to slow it down right now. We're going to do a special song for one of our good friends out there. We hope you're all enjoying the show this evening. Now, if you're having problems watching on Facebook uh, because it's breaking up or that kind of stuff, uh, make sure you can always find it on YouTube. And the stream on YouTube seems to almost always be really, really good. So you can go to youtube.com forward slash Molly B. Of course, if you're enjoying the music and you'd like to uh, tip us, we have Venmo, we have PayPal. Uh, we also, um, if you want to drop a check in the mail, we certainly appreciate that. Your support is helping uh, keep us going while we're off the road. We've had over 100 engagements uh, canceled uh, this year. 100 and s- 109. 109. 109, yeah. Huh, crazy. Didn't know it was that many already. Yeah. So, anyways, we appreciate those of you that are willing to uh, uh, spare a little change. Thank you. And if you yes. don't want to, all we ask in return is that you spread the word to somebody else and yes. and have them tune in and join us as well here on Tuesday because nights. Because if you're enjoying it, there's a very good chance someone else would enjoy it too that doesn't know about us yet. So please, please share and also like the video. You can like it um, through Facebook. You can like it on YouTube. And we have over 100 videos available on YouTube. Go back and watch all those. We started on March, I think I say March 12th, but it actually could have been March 11th. It's something right around that time. So we have a lot of videos up for you to enjoy. And that's why we put them up there, to keep spirits up and just to bring smiles to your faces. Okay. So this next song I had not heard of, and I won't be surprised if several of you have heard it. It's called Why Me, also known as Why Me, Lord. Uh, Chris Christopherson wrote it, and he was the first artist, obviously, to to perform it. Uh, Johnny Cash was one of those artists. Um, So several uh, several other artists have done this song as well. It's usually done by a lower voice, but I'm going to do it today. Hello, darling. Yeah, it's one of those. I'm Ted Lang. (laughs) Uh, so this song is going out, especially for Mr. Peanuts, and I gotta say it's it's, it's a neat song. I, I sometimes I think the same thing. Why me, Lord? Why did I receive so many blessings? Um, and that's really how I feel about this time. Um, people often ask me, "How are you doing this? 107 gigs canceled? Like like your world like is ruined?" And it, no, it's not. It's it's not it's not ruined. We obviously 107 gigs were 
ruined for, you know, if you want to call it that, but some have been postponed. So that's a good thing. Also, there's just a lot of other things in life for um, us to enjoy, including each other, including performing for you. Um, and I just, I can't, I can't ignore all those good things and see on the sunny side of life. So it is a question I ask, why, Lord, do I receive so many blessings? But he just pours them on. So here it is. So you're just gonna start with you want me to start? With the drum machine, ready? For sure. So we got some shout outs here. Uh, we'd like yes. to uh, say hello to some folks out there. To uh, Lorraine Schlut. Lorraine, hello to Lorraine. Ken and Marla from uh, Leverett, Clemburn, Texas. Heather Hansen. Uh, Nancy Geldine. Is that, is that right? Geldine? Geldine? I would say Geldine. Geldine, okay. Uh, Judy Bortle Miller. And um, boy, the next name I've really at a loss for L O J O D. How do you say that, Molly? L O J O D. Lajode. Lajode? Yeah. Rummer? Lajode Rummer. <laughs> okay. Lajor. And also, hello to uh, Brian Prohoda out there. Eugene, uh, boy, another I check would say name. Nachuk. Nachuk? I would say that. Mary Lou Almanza. Joanne Bates. Uh, wanted to hear this waltz. So we're going to do a nice waltz for y'all all right. right now. All right. So we, she wanted to hear a waltz. So we're going to send this out to her. Um, we had a request, yeah, it was starting to see. Um, we had a request to do a Doris Day number. I'm a Doris Day fan. And we thank Christy, Christy uh, Lindblad. And Dana found this song for us and asked us to start performing it. So here's one called Till We Meet Again, another song that's so appropriate for this time. ¶¶ 